Hey, friends, I hope that you saw the video where uh, the video that I introduced Q Hall. Her name is Quin Quinetta. Mm-hmm. Help me say it. You know, my Quinetta. <laughs> yes, I'll turn around. Quinetta. But everybody calls her Q. And uh, I kind of want to go call you Queen. Call me what you want. <laughs> I get to that. Some people do queen. queen. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, she shared a good part of her story with us. And it's amazing. In fact, I have, is this the first book or the second one? The first. This is the first book. And she shares her journey with us. Uh, Naughty but necessary. And I love the title. Thank you. It says a lot. Thank you. Uh, you can get this on Amazon. Yes, and Kindle. And Kindle and in your store. Yes. It's a wonderful little read. Uh, I love the print in it because I can read that. Awesome. <laughs> I can see that. So for older eyes, it's great, Q. Uh, I hope that y'all will pick it up because it's a very interesting, wonderful uh success story to come from the depths of hell yes to heaven <laughs> so Q has a bakery in Albany <clears throat> and that's where I first met her Bubbles took me to her bakery and I think I had this peanut butter bar and yes. I think I you liked loved them. It. Yes. Okay. Yes. So Q is going to share her recipe with us and it's like so many of uh, recipes that I share with y'all it's doable. It's yes. easy. Good chance you got all this in your cabinet, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, and... Oh, you took your air conditioner off? I did. <laughs> Q, Q is like me. We're head sweaters. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, somebody sent me an a air conditioner to go around your neck, and I love it. So, I got it out for Q. So, <laughs> you're welcome to put it on. Okay. We might just can't turn it on because of the sound. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> And if I have a flash, I'll have to borrow it. Okay, <laughs> we'll we'll share it. How okay. about that? Okay. We'll share it. Okay, so get going, girl. All right, so we're gonna do the peanut butter bars. Some people call them old school, old fashioned peanut butter bars, or they either call them nutty buddy bars. Nutty so, but yeah, they taste like a nutty buddy. Yes, don't they? yes, That's yes, cookie. they do. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our ingredients. We have two cups of sugar. We have two cups of self rising flour. We have two cups of oatmeal. We have two eggs and one cup of creamy peanut butter. Things that you can find in your cabinet all day long. You're so good. I, I kind of forget to tell my ingredients. <laughs> So we'll start with the oatmeal and we mix it all in the same bowl. Love it. A one bowl. Yes. One bowl wonder. Nice. Yes. One bowl wonder. Nice and quick. So there's no special uh, way. We also do two cups of, um, we do two cups of, two sticks of butter. Two sticks of melted butter. That's it. That's it, Paula. See, I told y'all she was my soul. <laughs> So I'm getting it all in here. All right. And um, so who rode with you today from Albany? I have my dear friend that rode with me from Albany, Lashaka Barney Pate. <laughs> so I'm so thankful that she was able to come oh, with me listen, today. I didn't know that you were. Okay. Yes. To be the most boring drive. It is, yes. Oh my gosh, it is. You think you're never gonna get off a sixteen? I know it. And luckily, that's what she likes to drive. So guess Thank what? You. She was a great help. Oh, so you drove shopping. <laughs> and then my two stick. Do you know that margarine, this is what I hear, margarine, margarine was first invented to use on automobiles and things like that. Did oh, you know no, that? I did uh, not. On, on machinery. Oh, wow. And, uh, 
they finally found a, found a way for us to consume it. So, you know, I said, God made the cow and the cow made the butter and stick with the real thing. Yeah, stick with the stick real thing. Stick with the real thing. I so. use uh, pure butter, real butter on everything. Absolutely. I do. So but I'm some just. Some people like margarine, but I recommend that you stay away from it. Maybe. I do too. So I'm folding this. Yes, you It's are. very simple. Very, very simple. And this doesn't very need quick. to be spray. No spray. We've got the- Because of the, the butter. Yes, <laughs> the butter. The we got lots butter. of butter. All right, well, I'm gonna be your sous chef and your cleaner up. All right. So we are gonna fold this go in, the and then we're gonna get it ready to oh, go. That's what I meant to ask you. Uh, I'm going to cut the oven on. What okay. We bake it on. We bake it on 325. 325. Yes. Well, I'm going to get our oven to go in. Okay. And now I've got it folded. I'll put it into the pan. Do not spray your pan with these. Do not. You will mess up the entire recipe if you do. I've done it before, y'all. So, <laughs> I, I believe in those sprays, you know. Yes. I've had some disasters. So I'm just spreading it evenly. And we're gonna pop it in the oven. You, uh, yes. In case people missed our video, our conversation video. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell, tell everybody about your YouTube. Oh, yeah. You all can find me uh, on... It's a new uh, thing that she just started, y'all. Yes. Mixing it up with Miss Q. And it's a combination of recipes, great talk, and inspirational um, conversations that I have with um, my audience. It's so therapy. It is. It really is. So you don't want to miss it. I'm sure someone you know, if not yourself, can use some of that great information that I give. I also added resources. If you have uh, if you need a second chance, you've had some struggles with getting on track with life, you can um, get some resources off my YouTube, mixing it up with Miss Q. I did a pink table and I offered a lot of resources after at the end of the pink table. So go and watch us. I'm mixing it up with Miss Q. In the bakery, Q. Actually, it is. It is. Yes. So we're gonna put this in the oven for 25 minutes. Okay. And I got your oven heat. Okay. That looks like delicious. And you know what? I think this might be a healthy recipe. You think? Peanut butter. The oatmeal and the yeah. peanut butter. Yeah. Well, most people, eggs. yes, most people that come and they say, what do you have healthy? And they say, oh, it has peanut butter and oatmeal. I'll try that. We're not going to talk about the chocolate that goes on top of it once oh, it's done. Oh, 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 yeah. chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to. Start with our chocolate. Yes, while our uh, oatmeal bars, peanut butter oatmeal bars are baking, Q is going to make the chocolate icing to go on. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to start with like a half cup of milk and we're going to pour it in the saucer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turn it on first, don't we? Actually, that's heavy cream. Heavy cream, yes. Yeah. I love heavy cream. So I would do heavy cream opposed to regular milk. Yeah. Okay. Or half and half. Or half and half. You can do half and half. Yes. Yes, you can. But they ain't nothing like that, y'all. I call heavy cream my secret weapon. Yeah. I just love it. I just love it. So we got about three cups of powdered sugar here. And we're going to add it into the heavy cream. Just making us some good old fashioned homemade chocolate icing. Yeah, so simple, isn't it? Yes, very How simple. Is your butter coming in? The butter is coming up next after okay. this. So we're going to go ahead and add some cocoa. Do you need a whisk for that? Yes, I do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to add a stick of melted butter. Okay. I will get it melted for you. All right. I'm going to put that right there for the time being. And we're just going to whisk this up. How many employees do you um, have in your base? Right now, I have five. That's, that's good. And are you open six days a week? I am actually open five days a week. Good I'm good. open on Tuesday through Saturday. Uh -huh. That's wonderful. Yes, and I absolutely love it. I'm in Albany, Georgia, and it's called Q's Cakes, done the old-fashioned way. That's my complete name. Yes. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I enjoy what I do. I love talking to the people. I've become an influencer in my in my community, and I absolutely love what God is doing in my life. Oh yeah, this is cooking up real good. It's so good to have a son, thirty eight years old. A daughter, a daughter, thirty eight, and a son, twenty eight. Has she made your grandmother yet? Yes, yes. Well, actually, my granddaughter graduated from college. Uh, she graduated from high school this year. We sent her to college on Monday. No. Yes. She She's at Fort Valley. That's a, yes, that's a good school. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, looking good. I'm just waiting on my butter. And this is going to be amazing. Okay, it's, um, it's melted enough. I think yes. it'll finish melting. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. This is perfect. It's an honor to be your sous chef. Well, I thank you. I'm going to add a little vanilla. That's good old homemade vanilla. I see. I want I want this, y'all. Paula got everything. <laughs> She's got everything. I'm telling y'all. We made this almost a year ago, didn't we? Wow. Y'all got to help me talk her into taking some of that to the bakery. I bet y'all are like that, huh? Yes. You know, for it to really be good, though, cute, it needs to sit for a couple of months. That's not Really? Thing. Yes, you get oh, your vanilla wow. beans and slice them and then scrape all the... The goodie eye oh eye. wow! I'm and gonna add just the rest of this with your vodka. Oh or yeah, bourbon. a bourbon. Yes, that's the only thing you can't wait until you're out. Right, you gotta make it, yeah, yeah. because it has to sit and marinate yeah. for so long. Yeah. All right, so we're about finished with our chocolate icing. It's looking really good. Mm -hmm. That is chocolate it. Yes. At its absolute best. <laughs> I love it. All right, that you get it thin enough so you just pour it. Pour it. it. Yes, okay. it's a pour. Yes. Okay. The good old fashioned like grandma a, icing. Yes, I was yes. Say it's more like an icing than a frosting. Yes. Right? Yes, it is. All right, so we've got our peanut butter bars out of the oven. Just pay attention to the color. We don't want them that dark because we want to keep the moistness in them. And we're going to bring them over here where Paula is. And we're just going to pour the chocolate that I has been made. I your chocolate to make sure it was good enough for you. <laughs> So what'd you think? What'd I you think, think it's good enough for you. You do think it's yes. good enough? All yes. right, all right. So we're gonna pour it on top and Paula's gonna spread it while I pour. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh my yes. goodness, Q. Yes. Oh, I forgot it was so hot. hot. Straight don't out touch. Of the oven. <laughs> yes, don't touch. Mmm. This is like yummy looking. So you got some more. Pour a little more. May I take this and yes, by get all every means, drop. yes, get it. Perfect. You know, you can tell I'm from the old school. I get every drop. Every out drop. Of. That's me. Cause they I'm laugh afraid at the bakery. <laughs> Cause they said Miss Q is gonna get you if you throw some of that away. I'm telling you yeah, what. We want every drop. Every drop, and I'd watch the kitchen staff like a hawk. Yes. <laughs> to make sure they wasted nothing. nothing. That's it. That is I it. I told them one day, 
I use this as an example. And I think they, it made it clear for them, you know, what I was saying. But I said, I want y'all to think about this because this does have something to do with y'all. All right, you think about this container, this uh, dish of dessert, and I want you to think about it this way. I'm gonna wait for you to come back over here. Okay. Because I think it's a great way to get away the, okay. So you think about, I ask them to think about this pan of desserts. Mm -hmm. All right, this third of Don't it. Don't touch it. <laughs> this <laughs> third of it uh, pays for the ingredients. This third pays your uh, salary. Hmm. And this part is a profit for the restaurant. And it's very important that you don't throw the restaurant's profit away. That's good. Because you need all of that. All of that to make one. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. perfect. I like it. I like it. So and I want they, you to they taste They understood. It. They understood. Oh, good. Very uh, good. It was clearer to them when, when I you could did it involve like that. their paycheck. Exactly. I do a lot of that at the bakery with uh -huh. customer service. Yes. Just telling them how important the customers are. Mm, if you everything. treat them good and you show great customer service, they'll keep mm -hmm. coming back mm -hmm. and we can keep the doors open. And then I can pay you more. Uh -huh. The more the customers, the more you can get paid. The more That's the right. company can make. That's exactly so let's just right. Keep that. I always tell them, let's just keep that in mind. I'm telling you, you know, I've been in some businesses, Q, where you walk in and that person in that business acts like they are doing me a favor. favor. What? What's up with that? Mm. I don't know. It's horrible. Oh, gosh. Look at this. I don't know how big you cut these in the restaurant, but... You just cut a little small piece so you can taste it. Yeah. I just want you to taste it. Well, I could have gotten four out of that, but we'll get... We'll get three. I hope it'll come out with it being so hot. If you get a strong enough spatch. Yeah, I that's what I'm that. looking for. That middle one right there. Well, this one, uh -huh. this one is my grandmother's spatula. I've got one that's not quite as wide that my Aunt Peggy gave me. Mm -hmm. uh, but this was my grandmother's spatula wow. in her restaurant at River Bend when I was little. Really? Yes. Wow. And it's got the date on it. It's got uh, USA, 1945. Oh, dear. Two years that's before sweet. I was born. Oh, that's sweet. Yes. I adore it. Oh, this is it. So let me get a little get plate. Get a little plate. And a couple of little forks. Yes, ma'am. Teresa, we're so glad you came back. You were having a time looking for some ingredients, weren't you? I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. I should have read the directions right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so this is warm. Mm. Keep in mind. Mm. Yeah, it'll cut much better after school. Whoa. Trying to hold it together. Yes. Like I said, after it cools. After it cools. It'll be fine. But you know what? A nice warm bite of something sweet is pretty good. Yes. Mm, it's real, real hot. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you like it? Mm hmm. You taste the peanut butter, mm -hmm. the homemade chocolate. How did you put that in your mouth, honey? It's hot. Mm, gotta blow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Blow. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Mm. 
<laughs> it's really good. Mm. It is so good. See, the that chocolate is not too and the right. Chocolate yes, and the... it's not too sweet. It's just right. Uh huh. Mmm. It's like a peanut butter cookie mm -hmm. with some chocolate icing on it. So this is Q's first uh, recipe that she's sharing with us, and she's going to be doing two more. So please make sure you catch all the videos from our sweet girl Q. Love and best dishes. Yes. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.